Hey, listeners. Thanks for joining us for your daily Bible verse. We hope you enjoy this deeper look at one of your favorite or maybe not so well-known Bible verses. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and verses by topic, we'd love for you to visit us on BibleStudyTools.com. Do you know why Jesus uses the phrase, I am, by Michael J. Kruger, read by Jason Brown? Today's verse comes from John 8, 58. Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. One of the most stunning scenes in the Gospel of John is when Jesus debates the Jewish leadership at the end of chapter 8 and declares, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. There is little doubt that this constituted a claim of divinity, because in the very next verse we read, So they picked up stones to throw at him. While there is little doubt that the Jews understood Jesus to be claiming a divine identity, there is some doubt regarding why they believed this. What is the background of Jesus' I am declaration? Most of the time it assumed that Jesus is alluding to Exodus 3.14 when Yahweh expresses his own name as I am who I am. This is certainly a possibility, but the Greek constructions are not precisely the same. There is another possibility that is more likely the background of Jesus' I am declarations, namely the book of Isaiah, particularly chapters 40 through 55. Not only are these chapters formative for early Christian theology, but they contain some of the most direct declarations of God's identity as the only true God. And many of these declarations use precisely the same I am construction. A few examples. Isaiah 41.4 Who has performed and done this? Calling the generations from the beginning, I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am He. Isaiah 43.10 You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. And Isaiah 48.12 Listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, whom I called. I am he. I am the first, and I am the last. These instances show that Isaiah uses the I am language to emphasize God's exclusive status as the one true God. The phrase, in essence, means I am he or I am the one, or I am the Lord. If so, then this brings insight into how John uses the I am language outside of John 8.58. For instance, when Jesus is arrested in the garden, he declares in 18.6, I am he. While most readers would miss the connection here, the response of the soldiers gives us a clue to what is meant. When Jesus said to them, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. The falling back is a contextual clue that Jesus is speaking like God speaks in Isaiah. Thus, there is likely a double entendre here in 18.6. On the one hand, Jesus is simply answering the soldier's question by saying, I am he, the one you are looking for. But on the other hand, he is saying, I am He, the one true God. In the end, the I am language in John is a likely reference to God's self-declarations in Isaiah, and thus a dramatic claim by Jesus to be the one true God of Israel. By appealing to Isaiah, Jesus is not portraying himself as another God, but the one and the same God of the Jews.
Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.